This last Sunday, something happened that has never really happened in the history of Christianity. People abandoned their church buildings, instead stayed at home and watched a live stream. Is this a good thing? And where do Christians find comfort in the midst of the coronavirus? Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac David, and this is The Daily Disciple, where I help you follow Jesus daily. First off, I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting me, guys. Um, this last couple weeks, actually, I was kind of temporarily laid off of my job, so that's bad. Um, but the Patreon support that I have on Patreon is just amazing. It's it's like amazing. So thank you so much. And if you can help me out at all, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple and give, you know, whatever it is, five, $5 a month or $10. It would be so appreciated. Um, thanks, guys. So with all that kind of, I, I have been, I just told you I was going to lay off my job temporarily, hopefully temporarily. Um, I've had a lot more time to think about just the whole like happenings of the world. Um, I know last week I put out a different kind of video that wasn't really related to the coronavirus, um, but at this point I kind of want to address it because it's crazy. Everyone is affected on earth. And if you're not kind of talking about it, then people are like, well, are you living in the same world we're living in? Because it affects everyday life really. And a huge example of that was just going to church on Sunday. Um, I My church was canceled. Many other churches in Winnipeg, the city that I live in, were canceled. Um, and so people were forced to um, either go to, well, pretty much just go to like live streams and they have a live stream in their own house. And so that's what my family did. So like, okay, this is what we're, what we're in for now for the next couple weeks at least, if not a couple months. This coronavirus thing, this is gonna change a lot of things because a lot of small churches I, I've seen um, that would never really think about doing a live stream of any kind are now kind of branching into doing more um, stuff with technology, with YouTube, with social media, to so stay engaged with people. And uh, you see some of these people, you know, some churches already jumped onto this, already giving resources online, already making YouTube videos, already doing live streams. But now this is forcing a lot of churches to get on board with that stuff. And I think that's good. Uh, we have to be careful. We ought not get too um, complacent or or treat this live stream thing like it is ideal because it's not. The fact that we can't worship all together in one place, or lifting our voices to God, the fact that we can't see each other's faces and be you know in communication with one another, encouragement in that way, there's a certain amount of just disconnect that, that happens with kind of the live stream thing. It's not It's not ideal. It is good, it is a, a blessing from God and it's God's kind of common grace that we're all able to um, use this technology for his glory. I think it's a great thing, but let's let's pray, let's continue to ask God um, that he might you know, bring us back to the time where we're able to meet together. Okay, I wanna do something a little bit different. I wanna read to you guys an entry in my diaries. They're called Diaries of the In-Between. I post them on Instagram, so if you seen, follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this, but I think it's 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 right on to what we're talking about today in, in terms, terms of the coronavirus, in terms of how do we find comfort and peace in the midst of this. So this is from March 17th, 2020. This morning I ventured into a new book of the Bible of my daily readings, 2 Corinthians. In light of recent events in our world, I was struck by the unmistakable relevance of this passage. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For we share abundantly in Christ's suffering, so through Christ we abundantly um, share in his comfort as well. 2 Corinthians 1, 3-5 God is the God of all comfort, but our comfort isn't based and our peace isn't based on the circumstance that we live in. Um, you know, if life was easy, uh, then we could do that. We could just have be comfortable in our circumstance and that's where we could find that. But in times like this, hey look, things aren't that great. We go through challenges. A lot of people are going through fi worse financial challenges that, that I, you know, I'm talking about the fact that I'm out of a job uh, right now. Um, uh, people are going through worse financial difficulties than I am. And, and so it's like, there's difficulty here in our circumstances. There's great anxiety. So where do we find this? Is it in our circumstances? No, it is in Christ. <clears throat> because comfort is actually a gift from God um, that he gives to us that's founded in who he is in the fact that he is unchanging and not in our changing circumstances. 
So when he, we can receive that comfort from him by his Holy Spirit, uh, it's actually up to us to give abundantly to other people that same comfort. And, and we're sharing that and how we share that is to share God's love with people, point people to God where that comfort can, and that peace can be found, um, as well as just honestly our physical resources. I think that's a huge part of just being the body of Christ is imaging God on this earth and what does God want us to do? He wants to share this comfort. So whether it's emotional or physical comfort, if we can share, you know, toilet paper. If, you've, if you were one of the people that stole all the toilet, not stole, but bought up all the toilet paper, maybe you can see if one of your neighbor needs one or your family members reach out to other people. Um, this is a time that we need to be coming together. And I know there's a lot of, I can only already sense some kind of conflict brewing within, you know, e even you're with your family all day in your house or whatever, there can be conflict there. Or I can sense some conflict in terms of people's standards of what's safe and what's not in terms of get, spreading the virus and maybe there's some, be some conflict, conflict there between brothers and sisters. Sorry for the banging. I am in a, <laughs> in a home with lots of other people right now, but like how can we um, look to Christ even in the midst of that conflict that may be brewing and just seek peace and seek um, togetherness. I think that's that's a huge thing that I'm thinking about right now. You may be overwhelmed right now and some people will say, oh, God will never give you more than you can handle. Well, the fact is that's totally wrong, right? God will give you more than you can handle so then you are forced to rely on him, right? If we just had everything we could handle on our own, we never need to look to God. And in circumstances and times like this, we understand, look, we're, we're anxious, we're scared, what's gonna happen? There's uncertainty, but we know ultimately we can look to God for that strength that we need. And that is my encouragement for you today. Thanks so much for watching guys if you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little bit of a different setup, but I just wanted to get on here quick and shoot. Um, but if you enjoyed today's video, give it a like down below. Um, I'm really thankful that I get to make these videos for you guys. And if you wanna support me on Patreon, uh, there's a link in the description here and you can head on over there. It'd be a humongous blessing you don't even know um, but thank you so much for watching I keep saying that and but it's true it's true um, and uh, yeah you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok or whatever I'm creating a lot of videos on TikTok right now usually like six a day at this point I know it's crazy but uh, you can if you want just really quick uh, encouragement on there check me out okay God bless guys